the witness of this moment right now. So what I want you guys to start to tune into. And the witness of this moment lies right inside of you. Guys are always asking themselves, how can I start to be what women are attracted to? My answer to that is, you're already that. If she has a feminine essence, then she'll be attracted to stillness. She'll be attracted to whatever is the non-moving. She's attracted to anything that allows her to be all that she is. And this is why I say, remain the witness of each moment as you're with women. The witness of each moment as you're with women is about being able to see every single mood as it's changing, as it's rising in energy, as it's lowering in energy. It's just seeing the velocity of its potency. Seeing exactly what it is for what it is. Just remaining the witness. Being at ease. Being calm. Settling into the stillness that's already there. The masculine is, in all of its essence, stillness. And this doesn't always have to be stillness of body. A lot of guys, they look at my videos and they go, he moves too much. He looks feminine. He looks gay. But what they don't understand is that they have a jaded view of what masculinity is. And until up until recently, I also had a jaded view in a way. I thought that masculinity only meant stillness and then stillness of body being coupled together. But as I start to talk to people who are much more spiritually evolved in me, particularly Andy, the guy I work with, Travel Bum, I started to see that actually it's always there, whether I know about it or not. It's just, am I going to settle into it in all moments? Because it's, a, it's in the settling into it, stillness so to speak, that you are being in the masculine. When you're flowing with emotions, of course, and you're just flowing with whatever comes to you, like the passing clouds or the weather, then you move into the feminine.
So for you guys that are watching this video, what I want you to do is that I want you to just observe. Observe me. Observe my mannerisms. Observe every emotion that you see come across my face. Observe the times where you think I'm in my head. Observe the emotional energy that's behind everything I say. This kind of precision in observing gives you a clear indicator into how masculine you are. Because the masculine is about focus. Being able to see past the bullshit or being able to see underneath what's actually happening. It's what's actually happening. The masculine is able to move into this moment with skillful playfulness. Skillful potentiality. Spontaneity. When you're there with the woman, It's about being non-engaging and are changing emotions and just seeing them for what they are. Because it's in that scene where you actually are able to love her. And guys are thinking, okay, how are you already saying love her? What I mean by love her is being able to let her be all that she is without judgment. That's how you're gonna actually get her to love herself. And then that she's going to grow to love you. A woman, it's impossible for a woman not to love a man who makes her, who allows her to do that. It's impossible. Because it feels too foreignly good, which means it feels so magical to her. Give her the chance to be all that she wants. From the moment you say hello, if she's surprised, <laughs> look at it, but don't engage in it. Because if you engage in it, then she'll see that when I'm something, he gets thrown off by it. But if you can remain the witness of it, see it for what it is, that she's only surprised by what's happening, now you can have the skillful spontaneity on what to do. I didn't mean to surprise you. You look surprised. I'm not here to do anything wrong. I just think you look lovely. Whatever it is for you, you need to be able to remain the witness to everything that's happening. When she's giving you this emotion, remain the witness. When she's expressing this, remain the witness. When she's telling you something that she loves, remain the witness of the energy that's coming behind that. Because everything is always underneath. It's never the superficial level. Look at what's behind it. Because what's behind it is going to give you everything you need to know. But for you to be able to see it, see it with a certain type of precision, with a certain type of focus, you need to remain the witness. Because in the remaining the witness, you're actually meditating. That's what's happening. You remain the witness and your breath is the thing that's keeping you as the witness. And from that place, your interactions will shift and change. And it doesn't matter if you're moving and you're being the witness. It doesn't matter if you're just sitting there and being the witness. Just remain the witness. Because a person, I can move around like this and I can still remain the witness of this moment. Because a lot of guys go, why do you move so much? I go, I move a lot because that's just my personality. But I can do like this and I can move like this and I can move like this and I can still be the witness of this moment because stillness is there whether or not I know it. And if I've settled into the stillness and I've allowed my breath to bring me into this moment where I can remain the witness of every moment, then I can see everything for what it is.
This is just the intro, guys, into what it means to embody the masculine. This is just the intro. The masculine, in all its totality, it really is stillness. The observer of everything. Non-engaging with. Just sitting outside of life and observing. The feminine is all around us. Women, water, you know, the movement of water, the changing of everything. It's all feminine. Everything that you can see is feminine. The witness, though, is the masculine. And if you want to embody masculinity more, it's important that you sit back into the witness more. Even if you're moving, like I said, you don't, it doesn't mean being physically still. You can be still and be the witness, and you can be moving and be the witness. Depending on your personality, it would depend on how it's going to manifest. This is just a little bit of what it is to be the masculine, and I'll bring out so many more different ways and beings of the masculine. But start with this as the base, and see how everything starts to change. Even, even before you get to the woman, start remaining the witness as you're walking throughout the day. Remain the witness of each moment. See people's moods, see people shifting between emotions, see people when they're actually in their head walking in and thinking about stuff. Just remain the witness all day so when you see the woman, you can still be the witness when you see her because you don't have to jump into the witness, you're already that. So when you see her, you can stay with the experience and go straight up to her from the place of the witness. Not like when you see her, then you got to start breathing, then you got to go into the mode of like, okay, now I'm going to be masculine. No. Remain the witness. Make it an all the time thing. Become present to the feminine all the time, which is life itself. Become present to life itself, which is feminine. And then in that, the woman is just a microcosm of the feminine. Until the next video, I want you guys to just go out there and just be the witness of each moment. Stay clear, stay open, and stay still within by allowing your breath to be your fundamental tool for that. This is Sony Solo for the Natural Lifestyles, and you guys subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.